Welcome to Oracle LFNG Administration Workshop 1. The course is designed to give a student a firm foundation in basic administration of Oracle LFNG. A student learns how to install and maintain Oracle database. A student gain a conceptual understanding of the Oracle database architectures and how its component work and interact with one another. The audience may be database administrator, database designer, developer, support engineers, technical administrators. The prerequisite to require to understand this uh, course is working knowledge of SQL as well as Oracle Database LFNG Introduction to SQL Knowledge is required. The course objective is to describe Oracle Database architectures, install and configure Oracle Database LFNG, configuration of Oracle Net Services, manage the database storage structures, create and administer user accounts, perform basic backups and recovery of a database, Manage users schema, manage data and concurrency of the object, monitoring and administering undo data, backup and recovery of database, monitor monitoring performance and etc. The course topics are exploring the Oracle database architecture, preparing the database environment, creating an Oracle database, Managing the Oracle instance of the database, configuring the Oracle network environment, managing database storage structures, administering user security, managing schema objects, managing data and concurrency, managing undo table space, implement Oracle database security, database maintenance, performance management, backup and recovery concepts, performing database backups, and moving of the data. The course objective it is as such. Now the summary of course objective is to install, create, and administer Oracle Database LFNG, configure the database for an application, employ basic monitoring procedures, Implement a backup and recovery strategy. Move data between database and files. The Oracle products and services are Oracle Database, Oracle Application Server, Oracle Applications, Oracle Collaboration Suite, Oracle Developer Suites, and Oracle Services. Oracle Database LFNG, here the G stands for GRID. GRID is used for low cost, high quality of services and easy to maintenance. In Oracle database, we have a storage grid, database grid, application grid and grid control. The storage grid is automatic storage management that is a tool new features. Database grid, we have a real application cluster. Normally it is called as rack. Application grid, we have Oracle streams. It is used to transfer data from one database to another database. And grid control is used to enterprise manager grid controls to see the internal structure of the database. So first we are going to discuss about the Oracle database architecture. The objective of this session is to understand the major lists of Oracle components, explain the memory structures, means explanation of memory structure of the database, describe the different background process which is required, and correlate the logical and physical storage structures. So Oracle database, it is a relational database management system. Normally it is called as RDBMS. It provides 
an open, comprehensive, integrated approach to information management. To understand the architecture of the database, we required multi-tier architectures. In multi-tier architectures, we have client tier, middle tier, as well as server tier. Client send a request to server. In the server, process happens. After process, user will get the filtered record. This is the basic architecture of Oracle database. But to understand this database, we need to simplify it. For the simplification, we need, uh, I'm going to draw a diagram related to that and then we will discuss about.